A fire team is a small military sub-subunit of infantry designed to optimize bounding overwatch and fire and movement tactical doctrine within a hostile urban environment. Depending on mission requirements, it generally consists of four or fewer soldiers and are usually grouped by two or three fire teams into a squad or section in coordinated operations which is led by a squad leader. Fire teams are the second smallest organized unit in the militaries that use it, the smallest being three or fewer soldier support or specialist teams that are designed to operate independently. Fire teams are the primary unit upon which modern infantry organization is based in the British Army, Royal Air Force Regiment, Royal Marines. United States Army, United States Marine Corps, United States Air Force Security Forces, Canadian Forces, and Australian Army. Concept The concept of the fire team is based on the need for tactical flexibility in infantry operations. A fire team is capable of autonomous operations as part of a larger unit. Successful fire team employment relies on quality small unit training for soldiers, experience of fire team members operating together, sufficient communications infrastructure, and a quality non-commissioned officer corps to provide tactical leadership for the team. These requirements have led to successful use of the fire team concept by more professional militaries. It is less useful for armies employing massed infantry formations, or with significant conscription. Conscription makes fire team development difficult, as team members are more effective as they build experience over time working together and building personal bonds. The creation of effective fire teams is seen as essential for creating an effective professional military, as they serve as a primary group. Psychological studies by the United States Army have indicated that the willingness to fight is more heavily influenced by the desire to avoid failing to support other members of the fire team than by abstract concepts. Historically, nations with effective fire team organization have had significantly better performance from their infantry units in combat than those limited to operations by larger units. In combat, while attacking or maneuvering, a fire team generally spreads over a distance of 50 meters. While in defensive positions the team can cover up to the range of its weapons or the limits of visibility, whichever is less. In open terrain, up to 500 meters can be covered by an effective team, although detection range limits effectiveness beyond 100 meters or so without special equipment. A team is effective so long as its primary weapon remains operational. National Variations British infantry units of the British Army, Royal Marines and RAF Regiment use the fire team concept. An infantry section of eight men contains two fire teams, Charlie and Delta, each comprising an NCO and three privates. Team leader, the NCO will carry an L-858A2 rifle with an L-1782 underslung grenade launcher. Some units vary with one of the privates carrying the grenade launcher rather than the NCO. Rifleman, one private carries the L-858A2 rifle. Automatic rifleman, one private carries L-110A1 light machine gun or L-86A2 light support weapon. Designated Marksman One private carries the L129A1 designated marksman rifle. The fire team is generally used as a subdivision of the section for fire and maneuver rather than as a separate unit in its own right. Although fire teams or fire team sized units are often used for reconnaissance and special operations, Canadian in the Canadian Army fire team refers to two soldiers paired for fire and movement. Two fire teams form an assault group, and two assault groups form a section of eight soldiers. French The French section is divided into two teams. The fire team is based around the section level automatic rifle or light machine gun. The shock team, made up of riflemen armed with rifle grenades or disposable rocket launchers, is the reconnaissance and maneuver unit. The team's bounding overwatch, with one element covering as the other moves. 
The team leaders have handheld radios so the elements can stay in contact with each other, as well as with the section leader's backpack radio set. The most common symbol of the modern French junior NCO has been a radio hanging around their neck. United States Army The United States Army particularly emphasizes the fire team concept. According to U.S. Army Field Manual 3-21.8 a typical United States Army fire team consists of four soldiers. Team leader. The NCO holds the rank of sergeant or corporal. Provides tactical leadership for the team at all times with a do as I do attitude, standard equipped with backpack, GPS, radio set, and either an M16 rifle or M4 carbine. A squad leader or assistant squad leader may replace the team leader at the squad or section level. Rifleman is the baseline standard for all infantrymen. They are equipped with the M16 rifle or M4 carbine. The rifleman is usually assigned with the grenadier to help balance the firepower capabilities of the automatic rifleman. Grenadier rifleman provides limited high-angle fire over dead zones. A grenadier is equipped with an M4, M16 with the M203 grenade launcher mounted to the weapon. Automatic rifleman, second in command next to team leader, provides overwatch and suppressive fire through force multiplication. The most casualty-producing person in a fire team, in terms of firepower and maneuverability when compared to the standard nine-man rifle squad. An automatic rifleman is equipped with a M249 light machine gun. The automatic rifleman is usually assigned with the team leader to maximize directed fields of fire and to help balance the firepower capabilities of the grenadier. In the context of a striker brigade combat team, S infantry rifle companies, one man from each fire team in a rifle squad is either the squad leader, assistant squad leader, the squad machine gunner, the squad assistant gunner, the squad radio telephone operator, the squad rifle Rifleman, Compassman, the squad anti-armor specialist, armed with the FGM 148 Javelin, or the squad designated marksman, who carries the M4 carbine and M14 rifle. In all cases these specialized function replaces the basic rifleman position in the fire team. Marine Corps The United States Marine Corps summarizes its fire team organization with the mnemonic, Ready Team Fire Assist. The following being the arrangement of the fire team when in a column. Rifleman acts as a scout for the fire team. Ready. Team leader uses the M203 and works as the designated grenadier. Team designated automatic rifleman uses the M249 light machine gun or M27 IAR and serves as second in command for the fire team. Fire assistant automatic rifleman carries extra ammunition for the team, assist. Other many other armed forces see the squad as the smallest military unit. Some countries' armies have a pair consisting of two soldiers as the smallest military unit. In others, a fire team is composed of two pairs of soldiers forming a fire team. Chinese military forces traditionally use a three-man cell as the smallest military formation. History Fire teams have their origins in the early 20th century. From the Napoleonic War until World War I, military tactics involved central control of large numbers of soldiers in mass formation where small units were given little initiative. World War I skirmishes in the Napoleonic War would often work in teams of two, ranging ahead of the main group and providing covering fire for each other. During World War I trench warfare resulted in a stalemate on the Western Front. In order to combat this stalemate, the Germans developed a doctrinal innovation known as infiltration tactics, in which small, autonomous teams would covertly penetrate Allied lines. The Germans used their stormtroopers organized into squads at the lowest levels to provide a cohesive strike force in breaking through Allied lines. The British and Canadian troops on the Western Front started dividing platoons into sections after the Battle of the Somme in 1916. French chasseur units in World War I were organized into fire teams, equipped with the light machine gun team and grenades. 
to destroy German fire positions by fire at up to 200 meters using rifle grenades. The light machine gun team would put suppressive fire on the enemy position, while the grenadier team moved to a position where the enemy embrasure could be attacked with grenades. The chasseur tactics were proven during the Petain Offensive of 1917. Survivors of these French chasseur units taught these tactics to U.S. infantry, which used them with effectiveness at St. Mahil and the Argonne. It was typical of a fire team in this era to consist of four infantrymen, two assaulters with carbines, one grenadier, and one sapper. Interbellum in the interwar years, United States Marine Corps Captain Evans F. Carlson went to China in 1937 and observed units of the Communist Chinese National Revolutionary Army in action against the Japanese Army. Carlson and Merritt A. Edson are believed to have developed the fireteam concept during the United States occupation of Nicaragua. At that time the U.S. Marine squad consisted of a corporal and seven Marines all armed with a bolt-action M1903 Springfield rifle and an automatic rifleman armed with a Browning automatic rifle. The introduction of the Thompson submachine gun in Winchester Model 1912 shotgun was popular with the Marines as a point defense weapon for countering ambush by Nicaraguan guerrillas within the thick vegetation that could provide cover for a quick overrun of a patrol. A team of four men armed with these weapons had proven more effective in terms of firepower and maneuverability than the standard nine-man rifle squad. Carlson later brought these ideas back to the U.S. when the country entered World War II. Under his command, the 2nd Marine Raider Battalion were issued with the semi-automatic M1 Garand rifle and were organized in the standard four-man fireteam concept. Three fire groups to a squad with a squad leader. A fire group was composed of an M1 Garand rifleman, a bar gunner and a submachine gunner. After sustaining severe wounds, Carlson was replaced and his battalion later disbanded and reorganized under conventional marine doctrine of 10-man squads. Later, Carlson's fireteam concept was re-adopted. World War II World War II U.S. Army squads consisted of an A-team, B-team and C-team. In an assault the A-team and C-team would assault, as the B-team provided suppressive fire. Suppressive fire from the bar would be supplemented by fire from the rifles of his team as he reloaded, and could be further supplemented by platoon medium machine guns. The U.S. Army Rangers and Special Service Force adopted an early fire team concept when on campaign in Italy and France. Each squad subunit of four to five men was heavily armed. Each fire team was composed of a two-man bar automatic rifleman and assistant, a scout armed with a M1903 Springfield with a rifle grenade discharger, and a team leader armed with an M1 carbine or M1 SMG. Their later misuse as conventional infantry negated their special training and fighting skill and their uses fire brigades against larger enemy. Forces negated their advantages in aggressiveness and firepower. Meanwhile, the Communist Chinese established the three-man fireteam concept as the three-man cell when they organized the regular army, and its organization seemed to have been disseminated throughout all of Asia's communist forces, perhaps the most famous of which are the PAVN, NVA and the Viet Cong. Fire and Maneuver Team A fire and maneuver team is the smallest unit above the individual soldier. It consists of two soldiers with one soldier acting as senior of the two fighters. A fire team in turn consists of at least two fire and maneuver teams and a squad of two or more fire teams. The concept is not widely utilized. The United States and most Commonwealth armies rely on the concept of fire teams forming a squad. Finland in the Finnish Defence Forces, a squad is formed by three fire and manoeuvre teams and a squad leader. France The French Army has the concept of a binome. In the regular forces it is the pairing of an experienced soldier with a recruit or replacement. The new man learns from the experienced man how to properly perform the everyday tasks and responsibilities of his assignment. 
In the old colonial forces it was a means of imposing order. The pair were responsible for each other, if one member broke the rules or deserted, the other would be punished for not preventing it. Sweden according to the Swedish Armed Forces Field Manual, a trained fire and maneuver team is as effective as four individual soldiers of same quality. However, the efficiency of the fire and maneuver team has been challenged by many experts as it has been claimed to be insufficient in close quarter situations where many fighting techniques have been designed for larger units.